quieter than last week. Um, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> now we're at Orton Towers. We're not starting with Nemesis. I missed Nemesis opening day. I was working, but we're not starting with Nemesis because we think everyone that is here today is generally going to start with Nemesis. So. Where better to start than the ride we can actually see going around and testing, and that's going to be Wicker Man. We're then going to head up to 13, and we'll show you around there, and of course, Smiler, Oblivion, before heading over to Nemesis for our yep. first go. Our first go? Yeah. Our first go. It's about quarter two, which is quite good. They've opened the gates. The flames are on as well. We didn't see the flames last year. They're back this year as Wicker Man flies around, and it's raining. Anyone that hasn't tried it, Wicker Man in the Rain is the absolute best. But Wicker Man has opened early. Now we have actually got some nice new posts as well. Look, nice undercover. But the queue is definitely built. Look at that. We have beyond. For hundreds of years, our family has lived in these woods, led by the spirit of the Wicker Man. The time has come for the Wicker Man. Angry looking Wicker Man bears. £40 for that. We got some new bags. We got some. Oh, I like that. How much? What's the damage? 35 That's nice though. I like that. Oh, I can't really walk through here without wanting to spend money. That's the problem. £55. Right, someone get me out of here. Back row though. Good. Yeah, Bat Row Wicker Man is is where it's at. He's absolutely yeah, where it's at. Incredible ride. Right, onwards up to thirteen. There's quite a lot closed, Kurt. There is. Well, we can't go to thirteen because it's not open. We can't go to Smiler because it's not open. Can't go to Galactica because it's not open. And then everything else has obviously got 70, 80 minute queues now. So we are actually going to walk around to Gangster Granny. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you think we'll get in the front? Never sat in the front on Gangs Granny. Never sat in the front. It's like a lifelong goal now. It's like a mission of mine. See if we can sit in the front at Gangster Granny. Gangster Granny, the ride. Now, all the extended queue was uh, removed last year. That was actually walk on. I remember queuing quite a long time for that. It reminds me a bit of Charlie and Chocolate Factory when that first opened. The queues were massive. I'm actually not offended by that ride. It's grown on me over the last couple of years. And we've got to sit in the front. Well, you did. In the front. Yeah. In the front. Woo! We cheer for the smallest of things, right? Now everyone thought that was originally part of the Retro Ride Squad, but there it is. It has been bought by Towers, and this is where it lives. Let's go see if some rides are open. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Even Nemesis is now closed. Well, Oblivion's open and Nemesis is closed. Right. Okay. It's very quiet down this end, and I will say, 13's not going around from us standing here. Rita is still only on one train as well. So it has a 75 minute queue. So what are we thinking? Um, we need a quick decision here. We thought if we could see 13 go around, it might be worth hanging around, but there's just, it feels dead up here. Absolutely dead. We'd like to at least try and get in a queue for something, I think. Yeah, Nem Nemesis. Galactica, Nemesis 13 and Smiler closed. Right, it's starting to rain. Maybe we'll head up to Oblivion then. Oblivion has now closed, there are people leaving, the Smiler is closed. Now just announced on the Smiler, it's because of high winds. It is windy. It doesn't feel that windy, but I mean, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, it's not for us to say on that. It's got quite windy. It didn't feel that bad, did it, when we got here? We've had sunshine. Oh my God, look at it. Actually, it is really windy here at Towers. Not really I predicted. Understand. Yeah, but it's not really predicted though, is it? It wasn't really predicted wind today. Just predicted rain, which we, we also have. Fun times, we're going to curse. Right, 20 minute queue. 
for Curse Walk Manor, so that's where we're going. Now, you can see the sun's out now. We've only literally walked across the park. A bit frustrating day in weather. And although I get it, I, I get in the high winds they can't operate rides, there's still no excuses for, you know, one train Rita at the beginning of the season. It's two train Galactica when it does open. It's two train Wicker Man as well. There's just no excuses for it. We kind of feel like we're hard shooting ourselves in the foot, but really interested to see Autumn Manor this year. Now I have to say, I didn't come for Halloween last year, so a lot of things in Curse that I hadn't actually seen. The, honestly, so many effects in there. Lots of new ones that, yeah, really, really add to the ride. Really, really impressed with Curse. I think everything's working in there, so really, really impressed. Now we are heading this way, and this is the first time I've seen Forbidden Valley since Nemesis Reborn. It's nice to have themed entrances. I love a themed entrance love a themed entrance. I think every park should have them for their areas. So I'm really, really pleased. Now we're gonna wait for it stopped raining before we check out the area fully, but I have to say I'm impressed just walking in. So here's my first look at Nemesis Reborn. As the train goes up, look at that entrance. We're gonna watch it go around. How good does this look? It's on a 95 minute queue. They are fully loading it today. We know they haven't been fully loading it all week. It actually really suits the colors to be fair, especially with the station. I mean, we'll get a closer look at the eye later and the processors that live rent free in people's heads. We've had a little look around the area, we've looked at the app, haven't we? And we've decided it's probably best to just get in the queue for Nemesis, to be honest with you. So many rides still closed. The ones that are open are on massive queues. You know, we want to go on 13 Galactica, they're still shut. So yeah, it does seem like this is probably the best bet. So here we go. What are we on? 95 minutes for Nemesis Reborn. But I'll tell you the good news. 30 years ago when I queued for this, I queued two hours. So, win-win. Here we go. Now this is an old piece of track which they've painted up, dug in the ground to make it look like the beast is escaping. It's nice they've reused some of the old track in, in honesty. I feel we're gonna have plenty of time to look at all this to be fair. I would argue a lot of trees have been cut down. It is quite minimalistic around here. Whilst the views are quite nice, there's not an awful lot going on. So we've got the cannons which are seemingly fighting the nemesis, but even on the ground look, it all feels a little bit, it feels a little bit rushed, doesn't it? When you look at Nemesis up and above, I have to say it does look fantastic. I think that's the best the Nemesis creatures ever looked. And actually, I think the uh, colour suits the ride. A lot of people are saying black, black, black. You know, all the coasters are black. But actually, I really think it suits the ride. As I'm walking around though, I am just sort of like, it, it does look quite bare in places. I appreciate the views are going to be really good from up the top there. But... At the same time, I'm just, I don't know, I'd like it a little bit more enclosed to be honest. Now I know this was an access point, but for me, that solid fence should have been put right the way down here. Now these are little touches infused like the JW94 and John Wardley and then John Burton24 for the update. Vital That's a really nice touch, that. Escalating. Going well today. I'm glad we're already in this queue because uh, yeah, there ain't much else to get into. Uh, page two. <laughs> Vital 
saw signs escalating. Now again, the view down over the area is magnificent. Really does look incredible what they've done with the Nemesis Beast. And views of the ride you haven't seen in a few few years. You used to be able to go sort of around the top. You used to queue around there, I queued around there in 1994 when the ride opened. Five minutes in, we don't know whether it's hailing, whether it's snowing, but I can tell you now, it's cold here, like proper cold. Here we are inside the Nemesis station and this thing looks incredible. Look at the numbers written in the veins as you go along. That is something else, that really is something else got the extra detail on the side oh what a fabulous looking station definite new lease of life in here right here we go it's nemesis reborn time now the eye does look magnificent there is already some pixels missing on the top and it's not moved this week Kurt, which is a real shame so hopefully they get that fixed now what did you think? You were here last weekend. You said it rattled to me when you texted me. What did you think? I we're like, row five. I like it. Right, so we were row five today, which has I been shut off. Three last week. Yeah, which has been shut off most of the week. You liked it. Go on. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. What part? It doesn't feel like it has the thrill to it. It's not running quick enough. It, it should be quick enough. So I'm gonna, I, you know, everyone's been giving it so much praise and everything. I have to say, the rattle is unbelievably bad in row five, to a point where it feels like a 30-year-old coaster. I, I, I can't sugarcoat it. It doesn't feel like Nemesis to me. You know, I rode this when it opened in 1994, 30 years ago, and this thing flew around the track. And there's a massive difference between sort of a pleasant rattle of an intense ride and what I've just experienced on there. It doesn't feel like it's going particularly quick. But you think it is? I think it's fine. I think if, they, if you get rid of all the rattle on that, it'll ruin it. It had a rattle when it closed. People said, don't change the way it rides. It still rattles. It's <laughs> not as bad as what it was. Uh, it's, sorry, it's worse than what it was when it, sh when it shut. For me, it's worse than what it was. Well, they've For you? It's the longevity of it, so. I think it's about the same. You think it's about the same? I don't know. It's not riding right. I can tell you that now. I know everyone's been bigging it up and saying it's got a bit of a rattle. I'm sorry. I'm going to stick my neck straight out and say, no, that is not how a brand new coaster should be riding. It is Nemesis. It will hopefully bed in in the season, whatever problems they happen with it. I really hope they can get fixed before Easter in the next coming week. You know, if they need to shut it for a few days, dare I say they shut it for a few days and get it sorted. But I'm telling you now, it's not running right. It's not running right. We just had a quick look around the shop there. I have to say that's um that's a pricey experience. Under a pound for a jumper that's not embroidered. Can't lie to you. Oh, that's a little bit too much. The bolts are nice, there's no single bolts in there, no one's been talking about them. Hundred pounds, hundred and fifty pounds for two bolts. It is busy here today, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I do understand with the weather that there might be an issue. It is quite windy, so I, I, I get that. The park is really busy, though, and the things that could be open just aren't open. Yeah. Just as simple as that. And even the coasters which are open aren't running at full capacity because, quite frankly, quite frankly they're just not ready. They're just not ready. 
and that just seems to be sort of the, the sum of the day really it just doesn't feel like the park is ready which is a real shame everywhere you turn there's loads of people people have been turfed in that ride as i said with the wind i fully understand they're not operating them in the wind but rides have been on and off because of the wind some rides haven't opened at all many rides are missing tra uh, uh, trains river rapids is closed curse has been closed a lot yeah i don't know it, it hasn't been as magical today as what i hoped but we're gonna head to the shop now and see if i can be sucked into some merchandise because you know i'll still be in merchandise <laughs> Guessing that one's not open either. <laughs> Shirts seem to be the thing this year. Cinder Nurses Reborn shirt. Here is a smaller one. That is really thin. That'd be great for the summer, to be fair. There it is. Now then, here's the Nemesis Reborn stuff in here. Look at that. Look. That, I mean, that's quite clever. That is quite clever. It got some new smiler socks as well. And then a wicker man. I'm not too sure about this. You've got sort of embroidered which goes in with a pattern. I, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's know in the comments. How do you feel about that design? And sort of the older nemesis stuff. We have more cursed stuff up here now. And some of this is new for this year as well. A little shot glass which is actually in a little cup quite like that double-sided resins how cool are these you can collect them all and just join them into each other Chesington did something like this on a much bigger scale in fairness um, quite a while ago but this is really cool the way they've done these so heat ride mug which changes and basically reveals everything when it's hot. That is so cool. Now they do have a coloring book as well. However, we can't show the coloring book, Kurt. They are cool though, I got one. Maybe Kurt will show us the coloring book. <laughs> Some of the key rings have been updated. Yeah, we didn't see these in the Nemesis shop. And they're double-sided as well, so you get all the rides in and the logo. Can you forget service is quite long as well? I don't think they're all waiting for wrap, to be honest with you. I don't know why they're all waiting there though, the other five around the park. Yeah, visit one of the other ones, people. Visit one of the other ones. Okay, I did say to him to use a different guest services. Scrap that. Stick with the main one. Here is the new map for 2024. I do like the way actually the rides are graphic thin. With the iconic towers in the background, we've given up for the day. We've given up for the day. It's not been a great day, but thank you for joining us here on UK Theme Parks. Hope you've enjoyed Nemesis Reborn. Let us know in the comments what you thought of it, and we'll see you next time.